Figured I'd give a little bit more detailed video of the Lifetime Tamarack with trolling motor. So here's my mount. It's probably a little overkill, but it certainly ain't gonna go anywhere. That's 316 aluminum. And then underneath I have a plate about that big bolted on the underside. And then up here, same thing. There's a plate about that big. Everything's just welded up on there. This is the steering thing I made for it. I cut the shaft down, put that elbow, wire loom, goes into that plug there. I guess if I unscrew this, it might look a little bit better. So when you go to take the motor off. And then they're hooked onto carabiners. So when you pull it off, you just undo the carabiners and they go through these little eye bolts. And then into the front, right in my lap, and you just turn it like this. And the reason that buckle is there is so when you get to the bank or in shallow water and you need to pull that motor up, which I drilled a hole in there, goes into a Harkin pulley, another carabiner so when I take the motor off, another pulley, pulley excuse me, to cut the weight. So what you do is you just unclip this and you pull that there, pulls the motor straight up. And I clip it on there to hold it, but that's why you gotta undo that. And it comes completely out of the water. So those wires all go underneath inside the hole. And inside the hole, back tucked under here is a pulse width modulator that I installed. It's my battery meter. And how that works is forward, off, reverse. So in forward, just take that and you can fine tune your speed. No more five gears. So you can turn it very, very slowly if you want. Because you know, five gears just ain't good enough. It's either too fast or too slow, just not perfect. And then by turning this, it controls the speed. And that's your uh, equivalent to speed number five on the original trolling motor. And you just turn it off right there. I just have the battery mounted up here. I installed this dude so I can plug in uh, my GoPro camera. Oh, also underneath here I have a uh, 50 amp breaker just in case my prop gets fouled up or whatever and pops the breaker. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I also took this, I don't know, if you have a lifetime Tamarack, then you know that that stock rod holder was kind of flimsy. So I guess you can't really tell what I'm doing, but now it's solid. It's all nice and reinforced, so it'll ha handle a takedown of a salmon. Anyway, any other questions, let me know.